Hi, Nancy here. And I want to show you something that you probably haven't run into very often, but if you start doing entrelock, you're, you're going to probably hear this term. It's called knitting backwards. And it makes absolutely no sense to you right now, but it's a handy little tool when you're doing these short distances, which are necessary when you're doing an entrelock pattern. It's really easy, and I just want to show you how to do it. So someday when you're working on a pattern, you're going to say, you know what, I know how to do that. And it's just what it says, you're knitting backwards. This is where my working yarn's coming from. I obviously had just knitted this row. Some people actually do this in lieu of purling because they hate purling so much. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my needle in the back of the stitch, okay, and I'm going to bring the working yarn over just as the same direction it would be if I was purling. So you're not twisting anything. Okay, go into the stitch. I'm going to wrap it around. It kind of requires your fingers to be retrained just a touch. Okay. If I flipped it over, I would be purling. But they call this knitting backwards. And you actually can get fairly fast at this. Okay, So you see for all practical purposes I'm putting knit stitches on this side. When you flip it over they're perfect pearls. So I'm going to do that a few more so you get the idea of it. You should practice this. Okay, Around. See I'm just taking, I've kind of made it a two-handed method. I'm combining kind of a both English and continental way here because it's not a natural way to knit but we can go all the way across our row if we wish. Oops, I split a stitch here so we don't want that one. This yarn's lovely but it does split a lot. Okay, so I'll stop here and let's take a look at this. Pretty neat. Knitting backwards.